Hi, this is Mrs. Alexander, and I'm going to show you guys how to complete your restriction and sign practice worksheet. You should have picked one of these up at the front or downloaded the attachment that's in Schoology and you're doing it from home. If you're doing it from school or you have the paper copy, please do this directly on it with your pen and pencil. If you're doing it from home, then you can just go ahead and electronically ink on your sheet using the um, home tab across the top. There is a draw or yeah, a draw button that you have options. In class, you learned about the restriction enzyme named HAE3, which searches DNA sequences for the code GGCC, complementary base paired with CCGG on the bottom. So you're looking for this on each one of the DNA samples. The first thing I want you to do is I want you to try to find that sequence as many times as it appears on DNA samples one through five. You're welcome to use a highlighter to do this, or you can skip this step and then just, or, and just draw your line like I show here. For um, practice sake, I'm going to highlight to show you um, exactly what I would do. So I scan the first sequence and I'd look for GGCC. Well, there's a GG, but only one C. Keep going, okay, I found it here. I'm gonna highlight the bottom two because that whole region right there is the sequence. I'm gonna keep looking, I'm gonna keep scanning, and as I find it again, oh, here it is again. I'm gonna highlight. I'm gonna back that highlight up just a little bit. Here we go. Keep looking, here it is a third time. Keep looking, keep looking, scanning, scanning. There's one more. All right here. Let's finish looking and seeing if it's, I don't see it anymore in the strand. So I found it one, two, three, four times. I'm gonna take um, my pencil or pen and I'm gonna draw a line right between the 2G and 2C pairs straight down. That's called a blunt cut because it doesn't cut somewhere different on the top and bottom strand, it just cuts straight through. I want you to do that for DNA sample two, three, four, and five. The next step when you're done with that is you're going to count the number of base pairs in each piece. So this section right here is one piece. This section right here is another piece. This is our next piece, our largest piece, and finally our last piece. So we have one, two, three, four, five pieces. Counting the base pairs in each piece, we're going to look for the number of base pairs. So just to demonstrate. Let me change the color. Let's go to blue. Okay. This first set right here is one base pair. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So I'm going to write the number twelve below or above that piece right there. I want you to count up the number of base pairs in each segment and write the number below. That's gonna represent the size of the piece. After you've counted up the one, two, three, four, five base, the five RFLPs, or restriction fragment length polymorphisms, and you know the size they are in BPs or base pairs, I want you to show me that on the gel on the second page. So your second page should look something like this. Okay, and I want you to take your ruler and I want you to make sure you line up really nice and carefully. Well, that first piece was 12 base pairs, but I only have 10 and six marked and 15. So you're gonna have to approximate where 12 would be. I think 12 would be somewhere right about here. Okay, between 10 and 15. So I'm gonna come over and I'm gonna line it up with my sample one, use the rulers provided in class to do this, and I'm gonna draw a line right there. So let's do that. This line is gonna represent my 12 base pairs in the first piece of DNA, so my first RFLP that showed up on the paper. So that line is representing this piece right here. I'm gonna write a 12, one, two, right around that piece. I'm gonna go ahead and make lines for the other four pieces that I counted in my sample one. I'm gonna do this for each one and then you get to check your work with the key at my desk.